portable mess facility. Go in one side and out the other. Pick up your food on the way. There you go. Hey. Heading on aft, that is Michael. We can back up the road toward the gate shack. Another gun jeep moving out. Gate shack up there. And we'll do a fade starting to rain. Hi, honey. This is Iraq. Zaiku, uh, cool. I'm fine. Love you. Miss you. Give the kids a kiss and a hug for me. Bye. Okay. Short sweet to the point. Sergeant Jerry Tomlinson. We're now in the 284th Motor Pool. Is this your main headquarters right here, Sergeant Tomlinson? Yeah. Just working out of the deuce? Yeah. Okay. And uh, right now, just about everyone in the motor pool is out working on, what, the new latrine? Yeah. So. Uh, sandbag detail and latrine detail. Yeah. We filmed them a little bit earlier as a sandbag detail anyway. Film at 11. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here it is looking back toward camp. Swinging back to the, the back side of base here. You got the trailers and then off to the hills. Heads on up. We're surrounded to our, looking straight ahead right now, to our right. Got the, uh, the Spanish. And then over to our left, we got the uh, 94th Engineers. Some fighting positions. The stone ones were here for the Iraqis. As a matter of fact, most of these compounds that you see were inhabited by Iraqi troops. There's one of their concrete uh, targets for training. And there's a off there, you got the engineers. As I was saying, uh, a lot of these places are surrounded by wire because they were they were inhabited by the Iraqi troops anticipating during Desert Storm the uh, the main thrust from the Allies coming through here. So they built it up, uh, sandbags, bunkers, positions. If you fly overhead, just about every every hundred yards or so, there's a fighting position for either uh, infantry or for vehicles. And it was also a, all along here, all of these vehicles were a... Uh, all of these camps were, were used as a PLO training center. And after the war, once the war started anyway, a lot of the, uh, the Iraqis just picked up and moved out. And the problem with that is that they had a lot of areas mined and they, they left a lot of munitions laying around, mortar rounds and RPG rounds and small arms. They just, it looks like they just packed what was handy and walked out. So uh, we're in the process of cleaning that up, working with EOD on that. They're the ones that really deal with it. We just see it or, or some uh, local national reports it to it, reports it to us. We mark it and uh, keep everybody away from it. EOD comes out and takes care of it. And uh, so pretty much most of this area has been cleared around here now. Hey, yeah. Tell them that it's raining dirt right now. It's raining dirt. It's raining dirt. Okay. As a matter of fact, here, look at my vehicle over here. I've been driving around in all of the, uh, where is it? There we go. All that dirt on there, that's from the, from the rain. Actually, I washed my vehicle yesterday, but as you can see, the dust clouds in the sky, it's falling down. By the time it dries, you're covered with a light film of dirt. This is the first for us. It hasn't been like this before. As everyone said, it's fairly cool today. What we're going to do is go back toward camp now and uh, try and get some more of the, the headquarters, folks. Okay, down here at Warrior Base. What I'm going to do now is just... Uh, film some of the sights and sounds. I'm not going to narrate too much. Just go through and get some shots of, of your loved ones here down here at uh, Warrior Base Camp. And you get a chance to, to see what life is like.
love you. Here you go. Now you can stop reading the cue cards and say what you want to say. <laughs> Here you go. Home. I'll be home soon. Yeah, that's what he thinks. We hope so. We all will. Yeah, I'll be home soon. Uh, make sure you keep putting that money back so I can get my computer when I get there. <laughs> all right. Here's two fourth operations. There you go. Heading on in. There you go. Love you, baby. <laughs> Larry Gilchrist, come on out. Look at, look at that head. Let me zoom in on that bald head. Okay, no, it's too late now. All right, go ahead and uh, spreading at the camera there. Hi, Tammy. Uh, we're here in Zykoa, Iraq. It rained for the second time. A lot of mud around. Uh, miss you. Love you. Hope to be home soon. Hope we can continue doing what we're doing so we can get home. Yeah. And uh, love you. Talk to me soon. Okay, all right. Hey, Ward, you gonna do your dance again? This is also down in the 24th camp. Specialist Hunt, one of our cooks, doing a fine outstanding job. Right there. Going to meet your commander. Oh, I missed that. There you go. I wasn't even watching. That's all right. Hi, sir. Hey, say hi to everyone back in Frankfurt. Hello, hi, lady Flair. Hello, Germany. We'll see you. Three to four, five, two, seven, barber shop. Got some barbers there. They cut our hair for us. They do a pretty good job. It's a uh, hand clipper, so you tend to to feel it a little bit more than electric type. Don't ask me what that means. Uh, to uh, Iraq, has some kind of a sign there. Heading on down the hallway. It's not as dark as it seems in there. Right here is starting to tall. Italian Medics Aid Station, and right around that corner there, heading on back over around camp. This is Main Street right here, down on Main Street. Like they all said, usually you don't see those photos there. Back toward the MKT again. You hear a chopper, now you can see the chopper. They're flying continually. Suffer the night shift, they're the ones that don't get to sleep. Today, all, uh, all the soldiers are out on missions. What we're going to do is, tomorrow we're going to get 2nd, 3rd, and 4th platoons out on their missions and uh, get some footage of them out on MSR Ninja. And also, we'll take a drive down MSR Warrior, which is right here in Zako. And we're going to film, look at this, looking back to the 284th now. That building you can just see the corner of right there. That's 284th Ops. Uh, we're on MSR Warrior. And that leads us down to the refugee camp. We're going to take a drive down the road past the, uh, the outskirts of town down to the refugee camp tomorrow. And for you, that'll probably just be the, a few minutes away for me. I got a little bit of time yet. Construction's still going on. This is the, from the front of camp, facing, heading toward the back. Merton years for the cooking. A lot of the buildings were destroyed, not so much by the Iraqis, but by the Kurds after the Iraqis pulled out. Kind of in protest, I guess. So uh, there are very few buildings, as you've seen already, that are intact. Raider, make a new road coming through our camp. It's actually an earth mover. What's that? It's called an earth mover. An earth mover. Okay. Exactly what he's doing. Well, Brian, you want to say something now, or? Uh... 